Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy KG, the one that loves God, fears God, and I love the game of basketball. Let's hop right into it, man. Yo, I am very, very, very surprised that Paul George decided to stay in OKC. But at the same time, the hints was there on his journey videos. He was saying that he had unfinished business, and he was also saying that the decision he makes is going to make a lot of people upset, but he hoped they'll be okay. I'm paraphrasing on that part. But I don't know if Paul George ever watched this video, but if you do, thank you so much. Like the fact that he's putting in four years and not a one plus one, that says a whole lot. Now, what people need to understand is people saying, oh, Russell Westbrook is a ball hog and he's a stat pattern, all that kind of crap. Guys, you got to remember the team that he's been surrounded with for these last couple of years, you know, before Paul George came, he had to step it up. You know what I'm saying? He's a winner. You know, but I expect everything to be different this upcoming season because with Paul George signing a four year and also Jeremy Grant coming back, hallelujah. Like that was a that's a big asset, but I don't want to get off subject. But the fact that Paul George is coming back to a four year deal shows you a lot about OKC and the direction they're going to go. Consider last year, last season, this last season that came up, consider the fact that Everybody was kind of playing lackadaisical. I've been saying in videos in previous, I've been saying in previous videos that it could be possible that the lackadaisical play and the non-consistency is due to the fact that Paul George was probably leaving. And even in Paul George's head, he was leaving. You know what I mean? But he got a change of heart. So expect a real good season from OKC Thunder this coming season. I don't care what nobody say. Mark my words, July 1st, 2018. This upcoming season is, is going to be a good season. This man just signed four years, which means that he's going to play his heart out. I knew Paul George was holding him back in some kind of way. I knew he was holding back. But the fact that he's locked in, that's, I'm telling you, you guys want to see. Man, 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 I've been waiting for this day all year long. And the fact that Paul George didn't even give Magic Johnson a meeting? Wow. $500,000 in the drain. I'm very shocked. Paul George shocked me, man. But like I said, I kind of seen it coming, but I didn't want to believe it because I didn't want to get heartbroken. But I'm just glad he on my team. Like, I like Paul George. I like Paul George a lot. And like I was saying in my, my recent video, guys, yo, I believe we're going to have a beefed up OKC team. We're going to see a different Paul George. I know we are. I got I to gotta, I gotta elaborate on that. I believe we're going to. Guys, last year, people was confused. We're just coming together. Paul George might leave. So, of course, you're not going to get 100%. But the fact that this man locked in for four years, four years, this man is about to play his butt off. He's he's about to prove to people, oh, I, I'm going to play whether I'm on the Lakers or on the OKC. I'm going to play. I believe that this man, yo, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Because a lot of Lakers fans, is, and no disrespect to Lakers fans, but I know y'all looking at him like a villain. But I like that. I, like, I kind of like when players is getting pushed in the corner so they can show y'all, like, I, watch this. So I believe Paul George is about to show us a new Paul George, yo. I believe that wholeheartedly. And guys talking about cap room space and all that. Yeah, I, I get that. I understand cap room space. But anything can happen. People can take pay cuts, baby. So I'm hoping that some kind of magic happened in OKC, boy. Like, I believe that Paul George knows. That's why he signed four years. He knows something that we don't know, guys. And I'm going to be bold enough to say it. I believe it's going to be a new body and a good body at that that's going to come to OKC. That's willing to take a little pay cut. I mean, hey, people were trying to take a pay cut for LeBron. It was, it was, it was rumors all over the league talking about, yeah, if LeBron go to the Lakers, a lot of veterans was willing to take pay cuts. I'm pretty sure that OKC is a winning team. Like, I know my team going to get somewhere if we get somebody else in that, in that freaking thing. I know it. But, man, I'm excited, man, as an OKC fan, man. Let me know what y'all think, boy. Like, are we going to see a revamped, souped-up OKC squad? I believe we is. <laughs> OKC fans, thunder up, man. We're going to have a good season this year, baby. Yeah. Let me know what y'all think in them comments. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And always remember, keep God first and everything else upon the plate. Peace.